Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will show you that how we can easily create the daily time series chart of rainfall as well as how we can easily create the CSV file for the daily time series. So let's go in this time here I use at the charts data set. So basically this chart data set provide you the daily precipitation data set we can easily get from here and this is the resolution about this data set is that uh, 5566 meter so this time i use this data and further i try to make the time series chart mainly csv as well as also time series chart about that from 1981 to 2023 so basically the data is available from the 1981 from 1st January from 2023 uh, for the present time it's available for that. So let's go how I can work with that. I hope you can easily learn how to create the daily rainfall time series data set in CSV. Okay. So let's go try to complete this part. So here I already imported my study area. So now I just try to uh, make a data set just take a variable suppose i put the variable name data set you can put any variable name i just put the variable name is the data set and in the javascript programming when you want to define any variable before the variable name you must put the bar keyword then i call my data set so in this time here you can see this is charts daily data set it is stored in the precipitation variable i simply copy and paste here and further i just select the band name here you can see this band name is that precipitation so just i simply copy from here and then paste here okay. then further i need to filter this time period so just i put here that filter date i put the start date 1981 1st January from 2023 December 31 So here you can see I just put the time period from 1981 first January from 2023 December 31. So now let me check how many images I want to get for this whole data set. Just I simply print data set and use that the size function. So now it's computing how many images are available in my collection between this time period 1981 to 2023 December 31. So here I can get the total 15,700 for images so this is my image collection so now i just use this image collection and then make the time series chart as well as also make the csv file so let's go how we can easily create the csv file about this data set or make the time series chart so let's go first of all i discuss about the time series chart for that i just take a variable chart and use that ui dot chart dot image dot series and put all of argument one by one so just i make a curly bracket start and also curly bracket it in here so first of all image collection so i already make the image collection this is that uh, data set here including total 15704 images i put in here then region so basically it's my shape file variable name which i put the name is that nga so just i simply copy this variable name of my study area and paste here and i have to calculate the daily average 
precipitation or rainfall so just put here ee dot reducer dot mean and first then we put the scale so basically it is the resolution 5566 meter x property so i put the x property simply put here that uh, system time start and now just print the chart basically i put here the chart and click the run so now it will be can make a time series chart of daily time series chart of rainfall between this time period year of 2000 year of 1981 to 2023 and it show the daily time series chart because our chart data set it's provide the daily so that's why in this time we also get this daily time series chart working so in the meantime i talk about the csv how we can easily create the csv file so for creating this csv file first of all we have to create a function so uh, in this function including the two column one is that stat another is that a date so for that i just take a variable suppose i put the variable name is a csv and i create a function so put at the function keyword and put the image element name you can see it will be work so here you can see this type of result you can see this is the csv file i just simply click on here and for that i just simply open in drive and here you can easily get that csv file for that daily rainfall data set so i just simply try to download from here and further try to open this so just i simply download this file of csv rainfall so it downloaded so further i just simply click on here and here you can see this is the file about that okay just i try to open this file and show you that uh data set so you can see this is my downloaded file csv file i simply down uh, open this file and show you that rainfall data for daily rainfall data we can easily get from here okay so here again so you can get this type of data so it show about that daily rainfall data we can easily get from here okay it show the daily rainfall data set we can easily get from here so basically this is the process about that as well as you can also see about that uh time series chart about that here you can see this is the time series chart we also create this time series chart look like that so if you want you can simply uh click on here and you can also download this csv file also from here okay it shows the time series chart for the different uh time mainly it shows the daily time series chart of precipitation so basically this is the process to work with that charts data set and if you want you can also visualize this data so for that you need to reduce this image collection so for that you just take a variable suppose i put the variable name suppose average uh, rainfall and further i just simply call my data set so basically this is my data set this data set i simply reduce using the average so i want to calculate that average rainfall between this time period so further i simply use the reduce function and how i can reduce earth engine dot reducer dot mean and further it just clip with my study area which is you can see the name about that this name is that nga so i simply copy and further i try to clip with my study area so now i just try to show that result so map dot add layer and call this average rainfall and now click the run so now it will be loaded that what's the condition of the average precipitation for this study area between this time period we can easily get from here so now it loaded this map okay it look like that uh, white color but if you want you can simply change the color from here so further i simply click on the layer and further i just simply put the stressing as 98 percent for better looking of this map so now it's about that range for that um, minimum and maximum range of rainfall it show this type of range i simply add the plated so i have to show the color 
suppose where there is very low precipitation region i want to show this type of red color greater than red i want to show this type of uh, suppose yellow color greater than yellow color i want to show this type of uh, green color greater than green color i want to show this type of uh, color and for the high precipitation region i want to show this type of uh, blue color okay so after setting the color so in this time here the red color identify about the low precipitation and this uh, blue color identify about that high precipitation region so for that i simply apply these things so now it takes some time to add it this color visualization with my map and we can get the colorful precipitation map and from this map we can easily distribute it the low precipitation region and high precipitation we can easily distribute it so now it's working yeah now it loaded if you want you can also import these things so now it will be added a new line of code just simply copy this vision parameter and part that if you want you can simply just uh, paste after the object name and you can put the layer name suppose you can easily put the layer name it's a uh, rainfall map so for that if you want you can also export this map so here again so we can get this type of map uploaded now so in this time here you can see this type of region show about that uh, red color so in this it means that this type of region is that low precipitation and also you can see about this type of region is that uh, blue color identify so this type of region show about that high precipitation and yellow and green is the medium level precipitation we can easily get that precipitation map so basically this is the process to create the rainfall map as well as also create the daily rainfall time series chart using the surf satellite imagery okay so you can see it show this very look more better we can easily identify the precipitation map and we can easily distinct distribution between that high precipitation or high rainfall region and also low precipitation or low rainfall region okay better this time period as well as also you can see it show about that time series chart of the rainfall for the daily as well as we also download the csv file from here okay but it also some limitation when it will be across the limit uh, 5000 element then it takes some problem so for that you try to download this uh, imagery uh, less than 5000 element images so in this time we work for the 2190 but when it will be across the limit 5000 element then it takes some lot of time okay for executing this code so for that you try to uh, take the short time period and then you can easily take the rainfall daily times with chart okay so here you can say i also when i uh, work for the long time period it take that more than six hour but it will be not completed but when i want to take the short time period such as 10 years or 15 years then it will be work very well okay so you try to that and further face any problem then let me know in the meantime i also give you an announcement for our upcoming online training program so basically this class will be start from that 17 may and now this registration is the opening okay so basically uh, in this online training program you will learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level or google Earth engine and now our registration is the open for the upcoming best on the may month so this class will be start from the 17 month of may and admission last date is the 15 may so here you can see all of those details about that so basically it's our total seven days online training program we take the class only for the friday and saturday in a week and each day only three hours this is our time about that and in this online training program basically what you will learn you will learn all of those things to start the journey with google Earth engine suppose you are a beginner you don't know any kind of programming language such as python javascript or google earth engine you have totally zero knowledge this course is for you after completing this total seven days online training program you are able to do any types of remote sensing analysis very quickly and efficiently using the google earth engine platform so here you can see all of those course content here i already added all of those things in my video description you can simply check it all of those things and further you can get the sum benefit when you want to join this online training program you can get the course e-certificate after submitting all of assignment you can get the all of practice code mainly material uh, slide pdf as well as you can also get the all of recorded class suppose you want to miss any live session then you can easily recover using this recorded class and also you can get the lifetime teaching support it's very important as a beginner because when you want to learn the google earth engine platform you face a lot of problems so that's why you need the continuously support so that's why in this time we are also providing the continuous support after completing the total seven days online training program 
when you face any problem regarding any issue you can easily get the support okay so if you want to join this online training program you can simply contact in our whatsapp number as well as you can also contact with this email then further book your seat and then join our live station so today is no more thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe